Shalom, kol halayim, layihawa b'ashem, yawashai b'ashem, racha ha-kurash. The belongers to the apostles of GMS, the Ruwal, and who I learned this truth from. And salutations and blessings are right unto you, hopeful elect. Uh, sisters, a few sisters in uh, Akiam and brothers out there. All right. Um, yeah, I'm coming back with another one. Um, and this is dealing with the uh, food pyramid. You know, going into the sorcery again of Esau's pharmaceutical industry and what he calls his health industry, right? But we know that this man is not a physician. He's a physician of no value, actually. That, that's the one I'm going to start at because I was holding something else. But All right, this is Job uh, 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies, right? Like you have a, a blacksmith, that's a forger. He'll forge, he'll beat that metal, fold it multiple times, hundreds of times, and hammer it. He's forging. So you devils, you're working, you're 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 tilling, you know, you're 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 sweating. You know, your whole labor is about forging, forging lies, right? Creating lies. So one of the things that one of the big lies is, uh, you know, he's he's big on uh, Esau's big on illustration, right? Because we know that Esau can uh, manipulate people. He knows different tricks and techniques and different uh, conditions to put you people under, you know. And that sorcery is fading, and that's why we're here today. You know, we have this uh, uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, he has enlightened us now, right? Because these devils were once enlightened. Right, that's why they call themselves Illuminati. But it says here, "Ye are all physicians of no value." What does the word physician mean? Basically, means to make, uh, 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 to heal or to make whole again. So, this uh, uh, Western allopathic system, it doesn't heal. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't even make claims of of curing uh, illnesses if you're a practitioner. Yeah, I just had to save, man, because I made the point of you can't make certain claims and, oh, I can heal and I can do this and that. A 144, but you have this, uh, what is this? It's a regulatory body, if you will, called in Canada, at least it's called the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada, right? It's a regulatory college, which acts as a national nonprofit organization established in 1929, by a special act of parliament to oversee the medical education of specialists in Canada. Now, these people, they have the authority, right? This is like a board of doctors, if you will. And, and interestingly enough, they, all, they always have this symbol. You got to ask yourself, why is there a serpent on a pole, you know? And they have their little Canadian touch with the, with the leaf on top. But... Why is there? A, why is this symbol the symbol for a, a pharmacies across the world? Right, that symbol is called the caduceus. But um, anyway, this body here can basically uh, revoke your license. They can take your license, your your your, your uh, whatever field you're in, whatever specialty you have. They can revoke you, fire you. Right. So it says the royal. Uh, royal, so it all goes back to to the crown, right? Because Canada, right? Even America, the apostles went into this years ago. That it, you know, that that whole uh, American Revolution, right? And so called independence, it's really it was a it was a gimmick, right? It was a farce. But it says the Royal College, right? Going back to the crown, <clears throat> is an as association of physicians concerned with setting national standards for medical education and continuing professional development in Canada for for 80 medical specialties. Okay? So it says all specialists in Canada, with the exception, right, of family physicians must be certified by the Royal, uh, Royal College before they obtain a provincial or territorial license to practice. Okay? But, um... They have things like this that if you say anything, if you go against the grain, if you, uh, if, if you're, let's say you studied uh, ten years, you know you did your ten years, right? You'll 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 basically 
I believe it's seven years or five to seven years of schooling. Within that, you'll have certain practices. But after that, the 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 rest, I think three years, they want you in the field, right? And after that, they, you can be a full, you know, if you pass, there's a final exam and all that. And then you become a fully, full full MD, right? A medical doctor. But if you start saying things like, oh, oh I'm curing cancer and oh, I'm curing this and you know, or even even lesser things, right? Those are extreme uh, examples. You'll have your license revoked very easily. Anyway, right? We we read uh, your uh, your but ye are forges of lies, Job thirteen and four. Ye are all physicians of no value. So this is one of these lies, right? This is from a page called ThriveMarket.com, dated October twenty fifth, twenty sixteen. The food pyramid changing with the times. It says for years the food pyramid was a colorful graphic placed on a variety of grocery items from the backs of cereal boxes to packaged lunchables. The triangle-shaped icon was created to show consumers the ideal way to balance their meals every day, mostly grains followed by fruits and vegetables, some meat and dairy, and lastly fats and sweets. It debuted in 1992, inspired by the Swedish food pyramid already in existence. The United States Department of Agriculture quickly jumped on board, preferring the visual to express recommended serving sizes for each group, for each food group, which was not a part of earlier uh, guidelines. All right. And they jumped. Uh, I was just thinking about uh, the point where they said the USDA jumped on board, preferring the, this visual expression because they know people are visual. They know they're. You know, uh, uh, goo goo gaga. You know, they see something and they, oh, oh my God. You know, they, uh, that's the spirit of this world. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh. Right? Um, there, There's a quote in my in my mind that I can't, I still can't find who quoted this. But I had a book years ago. And it was a book on martial arts. And there's a quote. It'll never leave my mind. But basically the guy said, um, there is no psychological weapon more potent than example. And henceforth, that's why Esau did that thing with um, Caesar Borgia. That that's a that's psychological uh, warfare, right? They'll come, right? They'll they'll come with that image, right? Like they came to the tribes, they'll 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 put the sword down, they'll traumatize you, and then they'll give you that to so called cope, and say, look, this is your god now, and you'll accept that, and then and then you'll teach teach your children. So same thing. That's why the visuals, man, uh, the advertisement, how much. Money is spent on commercials and marketing, promotion, all these things. You got to think it's a large part of a company or business, <clears throat> right? A, a successful one at that. Um, it says, although instead of providing the picture of health, the food pyramid did quite the opposite. Since the time it was inaugurated, and another key term for brothers to, under, brothers to understand, inaugurate means what? What does augur mean? Basically means like a ceremony or witchcraft. Okay, that's why you have a presidential inauguration. You have the month August, which is named after Augur. Okay. Um, it was uh, since, it's, since the time it was inaugurated in the 90s, obesity had skyrocketed, while levels of heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic illnesses had also risen, uh, offering proof that the daily recommended values didn't exactly work. The highest bidder, nutritionists and dietitians had carefully formulated the original guidelines of what to eat for optimal health, which at first stipulated meat and dairy should be eaten one to two times per day. However, it didn't sit well with big name food corporations. And you got to understand the word corporation, even that word. Corp, right? What is a corpse? A, 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 a dead body. Corporation means, uh, uh, well, a corporation is a is a not even a business, right? That's like a whole body, <laughs> but it's a dead body, man. Okay, because a corporation you have uh you have your table, you might have the head, the CEO, but you have investors, you have different positions. It's not really just a one man show, you know. Uh, uh, in 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 some ways, if you know what I mean. But basically, it's a body. You have consult cons uh, consultations, you have uh, uh meetings, right? Uh, uh corporate meetings. 
right? About discussions, about plans, about, about uh, oh, what was your quarterly, you know? What was this quarter? How, how much profit did we make? Did we lose anything, right? So it's a, it's a consultation, but it's a bunch of dead people, man. Spiritually dead, <laughs> right? It says, according to some, like Louise Light, one of the people who worked for the USDA during the time the pyramid was being developed, the eventual changes made to the plan made it clear that the food pyramid had been sold to the highest bidder. In effect, the powerful dairy and meat manufacturers, they worried that the directives villainized their products and due to pushback, the food pyramid was reworked to its current format. Physicians, uh, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine steps in. Uh, knowing this, the independent group Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine sued the USDA in 2001 over deceptive dietary guidelines and the negative impact it had on people's health. Their mission was to bring national attention to the meat, dairy, and egg industries, which had a heavy fallacious influence in the creation of federal food policies. Uh, thankfully, PCRM won the case and the U.S. District Courts ruled that the USDA had withheld documents and information that indicated bias and lobbying from big food companies to sway the federal food uh, recommendations. All right, now this is a uh, changes with the times, and this is going into <clears throat> um, what they change. But you know, basically, you get the scope of it, right? It was it was a lot of the dairy that they push in the morning with the cereal and the milk, and then the cheese. You know, the uh, all that madness. Right. Um, and originally the, the point also or, 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 or big point of the original food pyramid was you had way more servings of fruit. Con, I found it. <clears throat> so, like, so this is from another website. I, I just wanted to bring this out about the fruit, man, because they demonize fruit, fruit a lot uh, today. Today, if. What did I say? Todayifoundout.com Alright, this is from uh, Eric Asks Who Invented the Food or Who Invented the Food Pyramid September 27, 2013 So here's an example It says, for example, you may notice that in the earliest 92 version in America dairy gets its own section whereas in the Swedish version it is simply bundled along with the other staple foods this isn't an accident and subconsciously that this suggests that dairy is an essential part of one's diet, which is obviously not true since many cultures throughout history got along perfectly fine without non-human uh, milk as do vegans and others today. So it says, you may also notice that the original American pyramid suggests 6 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, rice and pasta per day, which is well a hell of a lot if you actually think about it. According to Luis Light, one of the people who worked for the USDA during the time the pyramid was being developed, this was due to the interference from food industry giants as well. All right? So let's see. Down here, this is her quote. I'm going to jump down. It says, Where we, the USDA nutritionists, called for a base of five to nine servings of fresh fruit and vegetables a day it was replaced with a paltry two to three servings changed to five to seven servings a couple of years later because because an anti-cancer campaign by another government agency the national cancer institute forced the usda to adopt a higher standard our recommendation of three to four servings of whole grain breads and cereals was changed to a whopping six to eleven Right. And you got to think about 92. Right. After. <clears throat> during that time, the whole grain was all, all right still, to be honest. But <laughs> now what do you have? You have you have uh, 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 even the whole grain, the so-called is all it's all GMO, man. Majority of the shit is GMO. Uh, white flour. Additives, preservatives. So that's crazy, man. But. Uh, the, the point on the uh, back to the fruits real quick is uh, you have the, the sugar in there mainly is uh, fructose, right? And fructose gets demonized because it's really it's really a healing food. And that sugar 
is really a healing sugar. It's anti-aging. It's it's good for your whole uh, hormonal system, your endocrine endocrine system, all your horm uh, all your organs that produce your hormones, Salakia. All right. Um, it's good for your pineal gland, your pituitary. So it's it's really uh, 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 it's 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 of great uh, benefits to your body, and it doesn't require insulin, right? Just like when you have glucose, which glucose is fine because your brain needs glucose, but that requires insulin. And if you keep, uh, uh, um, you know, signaling to the insulin that look, we gotta, we need to, t uh, 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 you know, remove this excess glucose in our blood. That's what happens with people that they become uh, insulin sensitive or insensitive. So, so their pancreas stops producing that insulin because you keep consuming way too much sugar. Right, but that uh, fructose it doesn't require any insulin. It it actually just gets absorbed into the cell, right? It, it's called cell something diffusion or something like that. Forget the name, but that's a big part of it because fruits fruits will heal you. In the morning, drink drink two cups of water first, and then you wait a little bit, maybe half an hour to an hour. You know, and then you have your fruits. You have your good serving of fruits, man. You have your mangoes, your berries, right? Just make sure they're, um, you know, they're seeded. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have uh, an unorganic seeded grape than a seedless organic grape. Because that there's no such thing. <laughs> That's a whole farce, man, about uh, organic. I, I seen an organic seedless watermelon. And the price was high. You know, but anyway... Let's go to uh, the scriptures. Let's go to Revelation eighteen and uh, twenty three, and the light of the, of a and and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, you know, going into prosperity business. Right, this whole chapter deals with with all a lot of the business. Uh. Uh, no, uh, I think it's chapter 17. No, hold on. Hold on, where's that part? One second. Uh... Cause that there's a chapter, yeah, eighteen. My bad, I didn't I didn't look up. <clears throat> but chapter eighteen, it deals with uh right the merchandise, all the businessmen, all the commerce. Cause this is a commerce, this is really a corporation, as the apostles say, right? It's not a country. It's not a, you know, uh, uh, this great free nation. It's a corporation, right? Therefore, you have a president. Um, you have a bunch of 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 even the law system you have to think about, right? The the legal system is 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 tailored towards what? Business, commerce. Right? That's why when the police pull you over, it's called what? A traffic stop. There's there's not really an emergency. You didn't you didn't you didn't uh, wind down your window and shoot <laughs> your handgun, you know, or you or 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 um you know, you didn't I'm saying unless there's different situations like that where you crash into a car or you're drunk or whatever the case is. Oh yeah, you you aggressively change into the next lane, sir. That's why I pulled you over, or your taillight was out, sir. You know, but it's called a traffic stop, so they can issue you out tickets because there's quotas for the month, man, or or depending on what time of year. You know, this place is all about business and commerce. When you go, when you when you uh, uh, um, have to fork out money for legal fees, right? For court fees, there's all kinds of fees, man. Right, hospital. Th this this place is about business, right? That's why in Ezekiel it says, "Through thy great traffic." Right. It mentions traffic. When you look up traffic, it goes. It means what? Business. Right. That's why again, when they have uh, oh traffic jam on the four hundred, or traffic jam on Bathurst and whatever, right downtown, that's business. A bunch of people, right? They they bought a car. They rented a car, right? They paid money, 
right? You need a license plate. You need to register. You need insurance. All business to be on the road to go where? Either to work or in, in between work, transactions, business. So that goes into um, this whole place being great, uh, 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 um, you know? But now look, hey business, hey shops closing, man. Business, <laughs> we're closing. Okay, this place is fucking on its way out, man. It's really done already. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And one of those sorceries is dealing with what? The word sorcery here is pharmakia, your pharmaceuticals, right? And Lord Zul, I'm going to do another lesson on uh, on the on the pharmaceuticals. Got to get back into that. Because more people die from pharmaceuticals than street drugs, right? And that may be catching up, right? It may be catching up because of the fentanyl <laughs> and all these high-powered, supercharged uh, laboratory. Those are pharmaceuticals in itself, to be honest, okay? Because like fentanyl, these things, these are, these are, uh, it's it's opium, but it's like it's like times times five or ten or whatever. It's a it's 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 a multiplicator. All right, but anyway, I hope you're ratified. Um, you know, I found that interesting about the food pyramid. And it's interesting enough, it's a pyramid, right? That's another point. But uh, that they changed it, you know. So I hope you're ratified. I want to say, Kahalalim, La Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles of GMS that rule well and that teach well, and uh, salutations and blessings to you, Akim and Akwathim, brothers and sisters that take heed unto the elect. Shalom.